crappy, crappy, crappy weather. It's supposed to even do this more. Yeah, so there is no review ride today. And probably the next couple of few days because I gotta work. I actually volunteered to work today on my day off and wasn't able to because further south, there was a bunch of trees that fell across I-5 blocking both north and southbound and couldn't go. So, but anyways, I did get to a little prize here. I can't want to ride this thing so bad and do a review on it and I can't. Um, so yeah, here they are guys. I got my wheels back, my swing arm back from the dipper. So this is what they look like. So there's the rear wheel. Um, few things, uh, probably gonna have to remove some stuff on here, but like this around here, but you can see there, the wheels turned out really good. And these guys do really good work, so obviously. But this is what they do with stuff like this. They do a lot of motorcycle parts and uh, yeah, uh, anyways, I can put a description in there somewhere for you guys later on so you can know if you guys ever want to send some parts here to Oregon to have these done, you can. But basically this stuff here really helps adhese to, it makes the powder coat adhese to this stuff real well. And the triple tree turned out real good. You can see that there's no paint down in there or whatever, but this turned out really good. But this will cover out flaws and stuff like that that you have on your wheels and but will not mess with the powder coat at all whatsoever so basically there's a little bit of stuff down in here you can barely see these um you won't see them at all once the powder coat is on there so but yeah this stuff turned out really good the swing out swing arm turned out really good you can see this here turned out awesome so basically what i need to do now is get these over to the powder coater and I wanted to do a review on these um, so you can guys see what kind of work's been done to these things you know obviously a lot of a lot of hard work but just because I couldn't get the paint down out of here there was some down in there in these little areas right here I just could not get them out good enough and the powder coater didn't want to take a chance in this stuff bubbling up so these are the parts that I had dipped the rear sets didn't have to worry about them he said they were perfect so basically um that's what i'm going to be doing is taking these probably to the powder coater today they said it would take up to five to ten days to get them back which i'm not really too concerned about because we have other things that we can be doing on the bike and yeah i'm really getting tired of the bad weather though i don't <laughs> i'm getting sick of it i want it to hurry up and be spring this sucks <laughs> really bad and yeah i really want to ride that little 500 do a review on it for you guys um but unfortunately no can do it's gonna ice up I'm not riding in the ice anyways unfortunately no ride so <laughs> yeah um that's where we're at though with the with the build on the bike we've gotten this far and i just wanted to do and show the quality of work on the wheels for you guys and um anyways i'm gonna get out of here and take these to the powder coater and probably be doing another video tomorrow if i can um since my volunteered work that i was supposed to do today might carry over tomorrow so i might not be able to do a video but anyways i got two more subscribers man and i'm going for 100 so thank you guys very much i appreciate it and anyways, um, give me a like and especially a subscribe. Anyways, thanks for watching.